If you're tired of seeing your kids slouching and destroying their posture, then you'll want to watch this video. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins, and today we're gonna to talk about three exercises to improve your kids' posture. So your kids, they'll sit around during the day on phones and tablets and other devices in a position that is completely destroying their posture. Now, why is this a big deal? because this poor posture while on their phones turns into poor posture while performing other daily activities. It can affect their breathing, their heart function, even their emotional state. There's a higher prevalence of depression and lower level levels of assertiveness in kids with poor posture. If you have kids, this video is gonna help you help your children improve their posture for better health for a lifetime. So let's get into some of the things that you can do to improve your child's posture. Number one, think about the position your child is in when doing normal activities. Things like sitting at a desk at school or while doing homework. We will want 90 degree angles of the hips, the knees, and the ankles. So you wanna be in a position where we're sitting and there's a 90 degree um, angle in those different areas. The next thing we'll talk about are backpacks. Backpacks weighing more than 10% of your child's body weight will push their heads farther and farther forward. We don't want that. Lighten up that backpack. Next, let's look at device usage. If kids are at home looking at their devices, we need to combine a couple things, maybe limiting screen time and increasing the proper position that they're in during the time that they're on their devices. So here's how we do that. Instead of that slouching position on the phone, let's make sure that you're promoting the head up position like this, lying on the ground while on the phone works so much better than sitting. Uh, let's also look at exercises that can really help improve posture in our kiddos. Number one are bird squats. You'll do the squat with your arms behind the head and squatting down to the ground. You'll perform this exercise slowly and repeat this exercise 10 to 15 times. Number two is wall angels. You'll stand up against the wall and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your feet, your rear, your shoulders, your back, your head are touching the wall. Then you'll raise your arms and lower them as if you're making um, like snow angels, but you're standing up against the wall. So we call them wall angels. This exercise is a great strengthener of all those posterior muscles in the back that are gonna help. Hey guys, if you like this content, please let us know by hitting that like button. Wanna be connected to our channel? Click subscribe and ring that little bell icon to get reminders when the next video drops, probably next week. Number three, open ups. Now this exercise, you're bent forward kind of in a squatting position with the arms in front of you, the arms crossed in front of you, and then you open up the arms as you stand up. It's kind of a funny looking exercise. The kids can pretend they're monsters, but these open ups are going to uh, really play a good positive role in bringing those shoulders back. This next exercise is called the clock exercise and you perform this just like we were doing wall angels and you'll give your kid a time and they will attempt to put their arms in the position that corresponds with what time it is. It can really be a fun game for them. For this next exercise, we're going to lie face down on the table. Have your child use his arms to push up the upper body. So he'll be looking straight ahead. He'll be lifting his uh, chest shoulders, keeping the hips and legs on the ground, creating extension in the back. You can also make sure to spend time in this extended position while reading, while on devices. That will be so much better for your child's neck and posture. Planks. Planks are a really good exercise for your child's posture. You'll place your feet and your arms with the elbows on the ground. You'll lift up the rest of your body so you're in a pretty straight line. You're gonna hold all that position so that everything is nice and neutral. That is a good core stabilizing exercise. You'll hold this position for as long as you can, up to about a minute. 
The next exercise is bird dogs. So while you're in what we'll call the tabletop position on all fours, you'll raise one arm and you'll also raise the opposite leg. And you'll just alternate arms and legs over and over again. Repeat that 10 to 20 times. So there you go. The three exercises that can help your kids posture. Try them at home, make it fun so it doesn't feel like work for the kids. And when it becomes a habit, it will be so much easier to keep them on track. And that's when we have success. Now guys, strength doesn't improve significantly until four to six weeks. So to make it a habit, keep it up and watch your child's posture and health improve. I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.